everybody, it's Tyler here at the Texas Cup, checking in with team number 11093, Mega Knights, and I'm here with Josh and Adarsh. Everybody breaking down this rollout, including, of uh, course, their uh, intake as it goes through. Shooter, a really cool uh, transfer mechanism that they have here. Uh, some interesting, um, different types of modules that are on the side here. Can't wait to describe it and break it down all here more on Behind the Bot. Giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to the fun. fun. We would like to thank our friends at Stryker for supporting fun so we can continue to make content for you. Stryker is a leading medical device company and is looking for those in first to join their team as interns or for a great career. Come join a company that will actively support you being in first at careers.stryker.com. If you're on an FRC or FTC team and you're currently meeting safely in person and have a functional robot, we'd love to have you on our Behind the Bots or Behind the Bumper segments. Go ahead and reach out to us on any of our social channels, on Discord, or send us an email at admin at firstupdatesnow.com and let's get your team scheduled to be on First Updates Now. So Josh, we're gonna start out with the uh, intake here and kind of follow that ring as it goes through. Uh, tell me a little bit more about it, some of the concept behind it as well. Yes, yeah, so to begin with, we have just like a angled flap here, just to knock down rings. It can also work, it works a little well for rolling rings. Uh, underneath, we just have like a surgical tubing intake. It works very well this year. And from that, we go to our side belted transfer. That's probably one of our most unique things. It's powered by two miter gears, which translate the horizontal motion to vertical motion for the side belts. And it brings it straight up uh, to our uh, lift in the back. Uh, another interesting thing is that it's all powered together. So we have two motors coming from these two belts that power this axle, which powers the side transfer, and then it'll belt over to our intake and our bottom roller underneath. So during a natural match, this is actually bolted in and stays on, right? Correct, yes. And we also have carbon steel plates, just because defense is a little bit rough, and we do have a dropped intake, so it's a little bit vulnerable. vulnerable. And we got those from Send Cut Send, as uh, it was quite nice. So take us through as this ring starts to enter, and we'll show it doing that in just a little bit, but talk to us a little bit about some of the innards here with the ring. Okay, yeah. So it's a side, side belt, and it just launches it up. It's two uh, 1150 RPM Go Builder motors that we use. Uh, yeah, it gets them pretty fast, un definitely under half a second uh, around that. From there, it goes to our cup lift, which is a linkage servo that will lift rings to the height and angle of our shooter right here. Uh, so when you think about from a thought press way, I get having the high shooter. Um, talk to me a little bit more about uh, you know the the elevator of actually lifting itself because you know having that extra stage takes a little bit more time, a little bit more complexity. Yeah. Uh, you know versus that, we've seen some others that just kind of flip up. What was the thought process on doing more of that elevator type? So back when I was uh, catting this, I guess the thought process, which may have been a little skewed back, uh, considering now, was that. Um, that we saw issues with, especially Gloom Free's initial bot, that they had sure. issues with angles, and we wanted something that like had no angles, that the ring wouldn't curve anywhere, so that's why everything's kind of, like transfer's kind of not a really sharp angle or anything, and the, that's why we had the lift for the angle. That yeah. was our initial can thought. We, let's see a ring go through yes. here so we can take a look at that a little bit, yeah. uh, and then we can see maybe that elevator lift yeah. up as well. Okay. Uh, intake, it goes in. Ooh. I'll just lift this up. <coughs> okay. Yeah, you can do intake slower. It's just like that. Yep. Yeah, it's very smooth motion on that, right? Yep, and it just brings it up to the cup. So, and then, and this, can we see this? Uh, yeah, I can lift it. it uh, yeah. And then back down, yeah. Yeah, so then talk to us about, you know, the, the kicker that you have. Looks like you got a, a, a servo, I'm guessing, attached to it for that. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the kicker going into the shooter then. Yeah, we just have a go build a super speed servo here, and we just worked with the times, milliseconds, with sleep pauses, and actually we don't use a state machine, but uh, just to push the rings in very quickly. Uh, yeah, it's so I, brought to the right height, so the rings can be easily pushed in. Yeah. And then on the shooter itself uh, as well too, talk to me a little about uh, how did you determine like how much compression you wanted to get out of the rings and also this material, the 3D printed material, what made you want to choose this route? Yeah, so we use two GoBuildo motors that we gear together using one of the GoBuildo one-to-one uh, gearboxes. Uh, we use an Anti-Mark 4-inch compliant wheel that we found was uh, more consistent yeah. than our old one. And we also have a 3D printed curve that's just PLA. PLA is the main material we work with, so we stuck with that. It's actually two parts that we made like a like a notch groove, so we were able to connect those two firmly. Uh, yeah, we have an adjustable flap just for slight angle adjustments and whatnot. 
So uh, let's wrap up here talking a little about uh, protection on the robot. Darsh, I know you're going to be covering that. Uh, so talk to me a little bit more uh, what that really means uh, to you and, and why that's important to your team as well. Okay, so when we started off the year, since we were doing remote matches, protection wasn't that big of an issue. But once you come to in-person, robots will be shooting over you. They'll be trying to block you. So the first problem we, fought, we saw was that our return rack would drop rings into our intake and they would get stuck there because this was a different angle. And so when it gets stuck there, we can only cycle two rings now. So the easiest fix for us was to add the sheet protection here. And we just added the smiley face for character. But the main reason we, sh uh, we chose sheet protection was this intake is actually outside of 18 inches. And so we need to fold it up in autonomous when we're initialized. And if we didn't have a, um, I guess, a material that can bend, it would be outside of 18 inches and it would cause issues. And then, so this sheet protection is for rings where if they're shot and they bounce off the high goal, they might land inside our robot, which also causes problems. And so that's what this one is for. And our last main protection is this back linkage. Yeah. And so, yeah, the main reason we had this was uh, when we shoot up and before this, you can see the wobble goal is like, the wobble goes all the way down and this is protected. So it's very hard for rings to get stuck there. But the second reason is we also want to play minor defense. And so this actually extends to about 18 inches. And so if a robot cannot shoot over 18 inches, it'll hit the rings and bounce down. Well, it makes so, a lot of sense. So Megan, I thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us uh, about your team uh, and your robot. Been seeing some great things so far. Had a really high score uh, here today as we film this, the highest score here at Texas Cup. Uh, so good luck the rest of the way. And of course, any other times we might see your team. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you. We would like to thank our friends at Stryker for supporting this video. Stryker is looking for current and future FIRST alumni to join their internship program and FIRST mentors who are looking for a great career with the company who actually supports their FIRST journey. Go to careers.stryker.com to learn more. You can also directly support FUN by joining FUN Nation. Click the Join button and just for a few bucks a month, you'll unlock special perks and directly support us so we can keep making great content. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.